hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new way of the hunter video and today we are back out on nez Perce valley to do a bit of some hunting of species that we don't normally hunt well i guess that's a bit of a lie because we are starting off with some whitetail and mule deer today we have some mule deer coming up this way already and that is a pretty big lad right there so we might we might have some pretty good things to start off with but we shall see what's in that herd. Right then, guys. Here is the herd. We have an absolute monster at the back. I haven't been able to see what he is, but we got a couple one-star youngs in there. A few females, and I think he is a four-star. There's a two-star adult there. He's a four-star mature. There's the two-star adult. And there he is there. Four-star mature mule deer. That is mad. Oh, there's another one back there as well. There's two four stars in there. I didn't see both of them. But there's two four stars in there. So it doesn't actually look like we're going to be able to take anything out of that herd. Because I definitely don't want to. And hopefully, 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 either of them make it. That would be very, very nice to see. Right then, guys. We are slowly creeping into a lake. We visited that one. We got the rarely zone for these two um, herds. So I thought they might be down at this lake. And that is exactly where they are. We have some whitetail over there. And then mule deer down to our left. I, I had a look at some of the whitetail um, from up there. But fortunately couldn't spot any. And I think some of them look alright to be fair. Um, yeah there is a one star adult. A two star mature. So they're not great, but they're not awful. There's a two-star adult. That might have been one of the ones I saw. However, I do want to have a look at these mule deer. And we have a five-star. That is exactly why you come and check these random lakes. And we have a five-star. That is freaking amazing. I think we'll just drop him in his tracks there. That rack is one of the new ones. And it looks absolutely awesome and there's a melanistic female there's a melanistic female down there as well what the hell that's absolutely crazy there's a melanistic female and a five star within the same herd that is absolutely mad there she is oh my god that's insane so hopefully we can get her. Now I don't know if she was mature, young or adult. So I don't want to go resetting time and spamming things just in case she might die. But that is mad. And the whitetail didn't spook either. So that two star mature looks alright. That guy is definitely lopsided there. So we will go ahead and take him. Ugh. Wait, no, which one was he? That guy. That guy there. There's another one down there, but a five-star mule deer to kick off the hunt. That is absolutely awesome. That is brilliant. Right then, guys, here is our five-star mule deer, and he couldn't have fallen in a worse way. But let's pick him up and see what he was. But it was a heart shot on him, and it was an 89%er, so not actually that incredibly good. But it was one of the new racks, I think. And he was very, very old. You can see how grey he was. He was so, so, so old. But he was a 459, so he was only just a 5 star. Oh my god, that is mad. Yeah, so he was a beautiful rack. We'll go ahead and tax him now. And we will put him in the lodge at the end of the video. And we still have a melanistic female to come get. But where do we go now? Oh, okay, so that's a bug not letting me use the map. There we go. Still need to check a lake up here. I've never been up there. And I should probably get the vehicle for that. It got stuck on a rock all the way back there. Um, but that's fine. So, yeah, I should probably get a vehicle for that. Where would be closer? Mm, I guess it would be here. But that is awesome. Pulling a five-star mule deer at a lake we have never been to. That is, that is very, very, very good. I'm well happy with that. But, 
we will start driving now. It's about 3.2 kilometers out. Um, is there any main roads and stuff I should be following? Yeah, I guess I can follow the brown one down here, but I'll catch you when I'm there. I will find my way. Right then, guys, we have a herd of mule deer here. And there aren't extremely impressive ones. There was one three-star mature. There's one star young. So I was going to shoot this one star adult, but he still looks so, so young. Like, he's got no color on him at all. But the only other one was a three star mature, and I don't think we'd shoot him. So we might as well jump back in the buggy, spook them, and just drive to our destination. Right then, guys, here we are back at the same lake once again. Because I realized on the way to that lake, we're going to turn off here and just like speed up there. But on the way to that lake, we end up going past the lake with the melon mule deer. So we might as well wait and see if they come back. And literally, as I pull up, I see some sights of me. I'm just scanning across the trees, scanning, 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 scanning. I'm like, is there any signs of anything? And boop, lo and behold, I can see some mule deer peeling down the mountain. And if the Mela gets within a re range and ends up going into a bit of a clearing and stops, I might as well just take her before um, she gets down here. But if we're willing to wait for that long, then yeah, sure. But there she is, right at the back. She is a mature female, so we do want to be taking her out now. And oh my god, I'm well happy with this, because we do have a melanistic male in the lodge. So, oh, that's, that's epic. That is so epic. Right then, guys. Here she is, walking straight out into the open now. And there she stops. Take the shot and she is going down. Ah, oh, come on. That is brilliant. A five-star mature mule deer and a melanistic female to top it off. And she goes down there and we'll wait for her to pass away. And we did actually have the white tail coming in, but I think they might be a little bit spooked now and not want to come in again. But yeah, she's still alive, so just wait for her to pass away. Right then, guys. One thing I realised I completely forgot to do was pick up our one-star adult. I completely forgot to pick up our one-star adult that we shot from across the lake. Too focused on the five-star. And he was a 53%, so definitely one to take out. And then we have our female over here. Oh, I'm so happy I finally got a female. I was really lacking with the um, melon mule deer. I, only, I hadn't had one for ages. And then luckily... We were just um, exploring some lakes down here, uh, river rather. We were exploring some river down here and we found a melon mule deer like all the way down there. Unfortunately, it was only like a one or two star. I actually can't remember what it was. I think it was a one star. Um, unfortunately, that is the case. But we now have a female to pair alongside it. So that is very, very, very enjoyable. And here she is. She's a mature female. So that is... Awesome, it was a good shot on her straight through the, um, what's it, shoulder blade. And then, yeah, so it's a 0% female. But that is, that is pretty, pretty damn awesome. I am well chuffed with that. Very, very cool. So we're going to tax her. And we'll end up putting them both in the lodge at the end of the video. Right then, guys, we ended up falling to our death somehow. I was looking at Discord. I didn't actually see what happened. I'm going to look through editing and see what happened. But while we're here at the lodge, we might as well put our brand new mule deer in. And look how many mule deer we've spread across the lodge. Three. Oh, my God. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> and then we've got a melanistic nine. Ten. <laughs> Oh, that's stupid. We have our three albinos. And we... Do we have anywhere to put our... Wait, I don't think we have anywhere to put our female, unfortunately. That's actually quite annoying. Because we've already got the albinos up there. I'm going to sneeze. I'm going to sneeze. No, I'm fine. Nope. <laughs> uh, um... I don't actually think we have anywhere to put our albino, um, which is a little bit annoying. However, we might as well put our five-star mule deer on there. Br one of the brand new racks. 
which is pretty, pretty awesome. But we can't put our female anywhere, unfortunately. We, we would only be able to... Oh, I'm gonna sneeze again. Nope. Okay, I'm fine. Yeah, we would only be able to put her on there, but I don't want to take that off because... Um, that is a very nice looking whitetail compared to the tiny one star mature mule deer we have here. There's a little bit of texture problems there, which is a bit weird. It kind of looks like he's been cut. <laughs> um, but yeah, I can't put the female anywhere else, which is a little bit annoying. But if I decide to um, change this someday, then we can put it there. But wait, I have a pheasant? Since when did I, did I have a five star pheasant that I just never put in the lodge? Okay. Right, that's strange. I never knew I had a five-star pheasant. Okay. <laughs> well, find new things every day. Either way, we'll get back out there hunting, do a little bit more, and then end up wrapping it up. Right then, guys. We have a herd of mule deer out here. We can't quite see them, so I'm going to deploy the stand. Didn't mean to jump. Press E to get in it, and here we go. We have a four-star... A two star mature, another four star, and another two star on public land. That is crazy. But I think we're going to take this two star here because he's looking a little bit older. Significantly older than that one. And yeah, I don't think he's going to make it. He looks alright though. As he was standing up, absolutely drill him. And he is down. Right then, here he is. This absolute chunker of a two-star mature mule deer. And that was a 40%er. So I'm surprised he even made it to two-star at 40%. That's that's pretty surprising. Either way, he was a 285, so yeah, definitely one to curl. And yeah. <sighs> Do I have that campsite? I don't actually have that campsite over there. I've just seen that in the distance. Right, we'll go grab that campsite then. <laughs> right then, guys, we have a herd of mule deer out here. We have a two-star mature, a two-star mature, and then a one-star mature. So I think we're going to take the one-star mature. We're just going to absolutely nail him with the 300. Drop him in his tracks, hopefully. Yep, heart shot, and he's down. So hopefully... This guy was a good take, but obviously he is a one-star mature, so it is pretty much impossible for it to be a bad take. Now, I think this might be the final killer hunt. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. Right then, guys. Here is our one-star mature. He's jiggling a little bit, so the nerves still haven't, like, fit. he isn't fully died. But it was a 44%, so yeah, definitely, definitely one to take out. And I'm very, very, very happy with that. So yeah, I think that is going to be the end of today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye!